हे गाइज वेलकम टेक्निकल बीओडो य फाइनली वी हैव आई एस सेवेंटीन एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट व्हाट आर द न्यू चेंजेस और एडिशन मेड टू सेटिंग्स एप्लीकेशन इन आईफोन आफ्टर आई एस सेवेंटीन अपडेट सो यर लेट स्टार्ट दीडियो एंड चेक आउट व्हाट आर द न्यू अपडेट्स इन सेटिंग एप्लीकेशन सो गाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू ओपन द सेटिंग एप्लीकेशन वील फाइंड दैट सम आईकॉन चेंजेस हैव बीन मेड इयर लाइक युअर डिस्प्ले एंड ब्राइटनेस देर इज अव आईकॉन इयर अलॉंग विथ दैट युअर होम स्क्रीन एंड एप लाइब्ररी हैज बीन मर्ज and had a made to a one option only so here your home screen and app library will be available on the main screen in your setting application or setting options here along with that we have new option called standby okay once you enable standby on your iphone lock screen in a landscape mode whenever you keep your device on a landscape mode okay in a standby mode it will display multiple widgets on your iphone lock screen okay like your clock any reminder calendar etc etc in a standby mode in a landscape mode itself okay that's it okay that is brief about your standby option in settings so now we'll talk about your other options in settings okay for that do one thing go to your general okay in general open your iphone storage and here there are some changes made to the iphone storage display option as you can see here there is a new option added to view your storage on your iphone or off your iphone for example there is the option if you tap on that there are three option like your size name and last used data okay if you choose those your iphone storage will be displayed as per the category chosen by you if you tap on size okay higher size will be first and the lower last okay name there was the app names starting with a to z okay also the last used date so any recent application used will be appearing first then the other one as per following so that is one thing here and the next thing that is your review personal videos for example if you tap on that and here you see that under the review personal videos for the videos here there are duration along with that memory size or a size of the file itself so in simple words now from here you can view the duration as well as the size of the file from here itself so from here you can choose which to delete or which to keep as per the size or the duration as per your choice also if you scroll down till the last okay here along with the system data here there is the ios option right storage option and here in a bracket we have your version data that is your 17 so that is your ios 17 version okay mentioned here so like that there are new changes made to the storage settings in a setting application after this if you go to the general option only and here under language and region option you will see a new option called number format so you can choose that you can choose the number format as per your choice which you want to display in your iphone okay that can be used here also if you come back and here you go to the mobile data option and now here you have your mobile data usage a simple or a beautiful layout here in detail here if you see there is a new layout here as per your plans and how much data you have consumed in a day okay along with your remaining balance that is displayed here with a new layout talking about another new feature in setting application that is under your accessibility okay once you open that in settings scroll down and here under speech option you will find two options now that is your live speech and personal voice if you open the live speech you can create a live speech on your iphone with a favorite phrases during your facetime calls or a, or any video call on your iphone okay the more detailed video will be coming later after that there is one more feature that is your personal voice so under this feature whatever phrases or sentences you type in those phrases will be spoken out in your own voices so once you create your own personal voice that data can be used to spoken out in your own voice with those phrases here so how to create a personal voice we'll talk about this in a next video in detail and now we'll talk about or we'll go through some of the very serious and important features by iOS 17 in settings okay first of all your new feature is in your privacy and security so that will be under your option called privacy and security open that once you open that scroll down and here there is a option called sensitive content warning so this new feature will surely help you or help any parents or any children from a sensitive data or sensitive media files like your adult content like your photos or videos so any person is sending you any adult content videos or photos that time your iphone will scan them and if it is data or any media file is sensitive or adult it will it will notify you with a warning saying that this is a sensitive data it can be viewed or not viewed after this we'll talk about the next feature that is under your password option okay in settings go to passwords okay authenticate open the password 
and here in that under password option you will find a new option that is your clean up automatically so in simple words it is regarding your online security or a privacy so whenever we are trying to log in or any transaction we do that time we get a otp right one time password or a verification code once you use the verification code after that there is no need of the verification code on our iphone right so those verification code are still lying in our messages so now after you enable this feature those verification code will be automatically removed from your iphone after you use them that was one of the really amazing feature regarding your safety and your privacy and there is one more feature about your privacy in your safari browser so to do one thing go to your settings okay under safari browser so under safari browser open it and here scroll down and here you will find you will and here you will find a new option called profiles and here you can create your own profile a new profile and that profile can be used to view your safari browser in a different account okay like how we have a account like a netflix or amazon prime similarly here each profile can be different and can be having a different favorites or different history or tabs all together so here each profile will be different for completely other one so guys that's it okay these are some basic things basic new feature i found out while going through it there might be many more options or new settings available in the update so in coming videos i will surely cover up but for now that's it i hope you like this video i hope it is a helpful video for you and if yes please give a like and please subscribe for more such amazing videos on iphone tips and tricks and iphone solutions until then thank you very much bye bye take care see you in the next video